Hey there, this is Peacekeeper Alex and the Psychic Wargamers. This is going to be the uh, Total War Three Kingdoms uh, uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion Let's Play number 49. Uh, and this is also going to be Peacekeeper Alex Gaming Stream number 59. And we're going to carry on here with the Battle of Pen Chang. He taking on Kingdom of Wei. Uh, 3,445 uh, deployed, uh, reinforcing 2,115. Uh, taking on 2,773 deployed by the Kingdom of Wei, with reinforcing 3,063. Hmm, interesting. It's going to be a fairly close battle, I feel. We will see. Battle of Pencheng. Last, so we're starting with a single retinue, Sacred Garden Watch, two units, Yellow Turban Warriors, two units, and we've got some peasant archers as well, shored up by uh, Hua, Huai Zong, the healer, our general. Of course, our deployment is hitting the field. Uh, we're getting it from the west currently, uh, as well as the southwest. You can see another two retinues hit the field over there so we're gonna bring them forces up so we're right near that redeployment zone and of course another two retinues over in the west itself as well so five retinues on the way with that one single retinue just sitting up ahead the wooden stakes and the oil and that arrow tower Put them in formation. Another three generals here on the way. They're a little health. Can we not... We do have knowledge of the body as soon as these generals get over here. Hear that healer. Active buff. Heal them up. These two of them are not looking too good. Because we still got troops heading over here as well too. Venerable Wu. Yellow Turban Captain. Faith Preservers. Men of the Forest. Seems to be two units, and then uh, more spearmen as well. Peacekeepers, yellow turban peacekeepers. And we also got another retinue here that I haven't been moving. Off from the south as well again. You stash them in the forest. I don't see the enemy here too much. I can see the arrow towers in the distance. Three of them. 
I don't see the enemy emerging. Uh, we're in this sort of staggered line. Started with the one retinue. You can see uh, two retinue show up on the right flank. Another two on the left uh, with another on the right flank going to the... Extending the line out into this forested area. And then you can see this wide open area until the uh, enemy towers. Until you see some trees and enemy archer. So if they do attack, we're going to see them out in the open. Oh, uh, we do have some bowmen, men of the forest, men of the forest. Let's see here, men of the forest. Kind of gathering here. Control one. Yeah, we got we got some bowmen we can use. And I think we're gonna want to have them over here. Talk all you want, you are still going to die. Make a Caltrop line. We can see some enemy unit in the distance. Moving up here. Finally, the enemy troops are revealing. And they're attacking us right where we're stationing. see a large enemy army here now merge so you got some uh, mounted archers you have King Surrenderous a couple units mounted Fire archers saber militia all, all across that left flank giant militia King Surrenderous again that sword infantry down. medium sword we also have some repeating crossbows as well as other archer units three or four units Still kind of in that center area, and then way off the right flank you can see mounted lancer militia. Three units of cav move out, uh, some spearmen, and then a long line of swords. Geon sword guards and saber militia, and then you can see them, the ye archers firing in the trees upon our lines. And them, there we go, you can see that cavalry, heavy spear cavalry clash into those lines. Oh. 
Going to be sending in more units as well. See their cav units behind my heart. Lines and getting pelted by multiple kinds of arrows. No, sort of a lightly peppered. You can see enemy movements here a lot moving to that clearing area. Peasant raiders, Yanks out giant infantry, clashing. See, we're sallying forth here. A lot of our left flank pulling them forward. Try and go in an aggressive maneuver.
enemy warriors are running. the unit nobody survived our comrade balls hold the line What a valiant defeat this was. Look at that, 348 kills for uh, one of the generals here in the enemy. He got him away, emerging victorious. Five thousand one hundred and forty three loss for he here, four seventeen remaining, five thousand eight hundred and thirty six deployed for the enemy, three thousand one hundred and sixty seven loss, two thousand six hundred and sixty nine remaining. Hmm. The 
Size of the feet. Here against Kenny Wei, Battle of Chen Livestock Farm, Wu Li and Lai Tai versus Kaowang or Chaowang. Tao. Taoan. Two generals, one has knowledge of the body. We're gonna try and station right near the deployment zone because we don't have too many troops. Our reinforcements have arrived. Its powers in the enemy's favor, even though we have about the same amount of troops. I will give you one free strike. Don't miss. Talk, talk, talk.
will defeat you. Once you are dead, the silence will be bliss. Spearman, attack! Our comrade is under attack. to keep trying. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say something? The enemy is continuing to have the upper hand here. Our men are running, the spineless coward. Our comrade falls. Who has night. been defeated? Oh, uh, yeah, two forces met, clashed. has vanquished uh, he forces here decisive defeat so a string of defeats all the way down the line the general's not really providing too much There's providence on that one 496 kills on the uh, defenders of earth bowmen Whew. that is that was the difference right there that was the difference of it that one bow unit. For China. Kingdom of White Forces. Curious, but acceptable.
There's no released hoodoo. Someone lost livestock farm Chen. Faction developments rally sympathizers. Living harmony, although fire burns can also fuse things together. So it is with these warriors, fierce of temperament and strong of will, they find friendship in one another. Even if their dispositions will lead them into arguments of passion more often than not. You shoo. And it seems to be the amount of forces that Cao Cao has is way overwhelming me. I've lost multiple armies here. I should be able to raise some armies finally. Resist corruption and endure hardships. There is cunning in caution. Cultivate patience. Bullshit, we'll there are no more characters, Bill. What are you talking about here? I am at your disposal, my lord. <sighs> what lame, man. Uh, Lance for galaxy, I guess. Why not? The end things. Do the big one. Specifically, with the amount of forces around. Serve the people. Uh, yeah, so we still have the north here, but the south of where we used to be, Yang Tao Chen, uh, it has been overtaken. We can see a bit of Gongdu forces, uh, a lot of different Yuan Shu over in near that Yellow River, um, Lu Yang, but again, multiple areas being overwhelmed by the amount of uh, <clears throat> Wei forces. To be true, we have six armies in the south. Uh, fairly well and then beyond that who knows what's in Yangtze Imperial City now to the south I have a couple forces trying to you know maintain the south area by way of going to be taking Badong Lumberyard to be true and we can see here if we can just continue to maneuver them forward hey we can't march any further so it would seem uh, we have a general to upgrade as well Uh, intuition is what will be chosen. Uh, what other battles can I do here into the south, trying to raise those armies? I can clear uh, Chai Mao from the area at least. That would be kind of good. And turn here and see what happens. Battle of Tai Shan here. Uh, Kingdom of Song invading. We're going to delegate. Tai Shan has been overtaken by Kingdom of Song forces as well as the north of that area 
is being encroached upon. They fought only for their beliefs. To the task. Though I rise, my heart remains with the people. So here we go. Battle of Pencheng, large regional city. He against Kingdom of Wei. 5,289 with 561 reinforcing. Uh, going against Kingdom of Wei forces, 2,233 deployed, 4,235 reinforcing. So we have the one redeployment zone right up to the north. Lucky number. I think even pulling the troops back even further would be best. That is how I feel. More! Enemy reinforcements are arriving! Five thousand eight hundred and fifty against four thousand ninety one. It seems to me like we have all the forces uh, currently that are needed. I don't see any more redeployment zone. So this is gonna be it. And ready. Bowman, stand ready. All the bowmans together. Time has come. We do have quite a fair few.
They said they could. Well, those that mean spurgats were late in light. I thank those that mean spurgats in the game. Well, as you can see here, we've mustered uh, quite a fair few bit of uh, forces. Yellow turban uh, archers, two units, another two units as well. Let's so make that four. Archery masters, peasant archers. Because I'm bringers of righteousness, uh, three units. Holy arrow archers, uh, two units. Militia of Virtue, Yellow Turban Warriors, we have about five, six, seven units of them. Good old unit. Oh, we do have some Cav. Interestingly enough, single Cav unit yet again. We got He Yi, we got Huang Shao, Ping Gai, and Jai Zuo. Sadly, we do not have the knowledge of the body buff needed. We do have a bunch of other ones, and we are in waiting. We can see again the enemy towers from afar. And they got two uh, uh, redeployment zones that are still ticking off. So they still have that. And it seems to be almost even 5,835 against 4,091. Uh, so we definitely have the true count number. Uh, whether that manifests or not remains to be seen. You are too pathetic to survive. Your words are as pathetic as you are. Move up quickly. Rise up. Go, go. At the ready. Make haste. Ready. Faster. Enemy forces are approaching here. Multiple kinds here axe warriors, protectors of heaven, 
units inferior by high, three units. Yang Tao Jai Infantry, heavy Yang Tao Jai Infantry, again those halberds. Looks like a certain kind of magenta red as well on the flag color. Native Hawaii colors. Get a bit of gray on the outline of the logo and border of the flag. Tao Tao forces. See the enemy approach. Wu Ba, Shi Nixian, and Han Ayu uh, leading some cavalry forces. Not too high health. Uh, they also have protectors of heaven, axe warriors, uh, four units. They got some heavy Yang Tao, giant infantry, as well as in the center. Other left flank. Looks like uh, more halberds and swords, as well as axe and spear. Unit a piece there. They start to approach, and they're you know right behind them. You can see the redeployments. The second half of the army kind of staggering along behind them. Looks like what two, three, four miles behind. That's, I don't know if that's miles. I don't know. That's like one mile behind. One and a half, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. I can't remember. Surely you can do better. If only wars were won with witty words. It's not even that. They say it's not even a mile. Close, I think. If it was. You can see here they're coming through with their uh, first forces and that right flank uh, horse charge is gonna. Stagger. Let me try and attack this right side. And they're under bow fire now. And they're gonna hit those caltrops. That's not gonna be too much. See the amount of archer fire that we have. We a lot of bowmen on our side firing down. Them having to cross the river. Make ready. Take heed, warriors. Attack. Look, the enemy run. Craven. Was the right flank uh, able to stave off those uh, cavalry charges uh, and enemy general and one last remaining cavalry coming over there to that right side. The center has shot laid forth and attacked the enemy that is just right off the right off the water. We wanted to try and trap them into the water if possible like we did over to the left flank here. You can see uh, that that seems to be uh, working out in the water itself to be true. Our uh, arrow 
Rose making quick work of some of the enemy units here. Some Axemen caught flat-footed on the banks, getting pelted by a lot of variety of different arrows. The enemy trying to get back up, but that arrow fire that we have is going to make it difficult. You can see some bowmen here having some difficulty as well, that control one group really just hitting home here. We're going to shift it to the some of their crossbows, limit theirs. I want to see what it ends up looking like. A lot of different arrow fires. You're gonna get pelted pretty hard. You can see on the right flank they are forming up. Bringing in more forces across that river. Geon sword guards, they got some uh, protectors of heaven, and we are throwing some bow fire at them. That is a lot of heavy range units. So we shifted bow fire over to the right side here. I'm getting right up. Attacking that militia of virtue. Wanna hit that right side. The enemy warriors are running. We also got more units off to the right flank as well that we had forgotten about, so we can be able to square this even. Maneuvering that right flank with that, the remainder of the General Wu Ba Sentinel. Shifting that right flank to go to that center area with that Giant Sword Guards. I'm trying to shift bow fire there, but that seems to be working. To be true. You can see a center battle here with some axe warriors and uh, Dong Chang Yi champion hangs out Jai infantry as well. Trying to hold back uh, is it chanters, yellow turban warriors, scholar warriors, peasant warriors. Got some spearmen as well, peasant spearmen. Trying to hold back. Right to the right offside, we're running off the enemy where they had stacked a large amount of units, but now the right flank is, is folding for the enemy. You can see a lot of different units over here on my side. Much of Virtue, Peasant Spearmen, Yellow Turban Warriors. Uh, he himself, the Big Cheese, taking down some Lankai Spearmen. The remainder. And when we shift that and go inward, we could basically just roll their lines. If we could just shift it right now, these Axemen getting trampled. ferocity of the proven after like having a hard bout on the right flank you just like shift it over to a more lax unit and the lax unit is just taken unawares
the enemy completely sandwiched, folding their lines in the pursuit. You can see another rolling here in a shift. Right flank, running past like zombies. The rolling thunder. field so it seems but a lot scattering they still have some bowmen we got bowmen as well we can send there and deal with the bowmen got a general out there as well Huang Shao heading towards the Lankai archers right now as we speak look at the enemy run Craven. See the right flank uh, breaking as we cross this river. Push the enemy back. A couple glaive units holding us steady at this one position as we send in that right. The armies uh, combine. Try and overtake. And the enemy is here is overwhelmed. Surrounded, they got protectors of heaven, heavy glaive infantry as the last remainder, not leaving the scene. And they do pack a punch. You can see more enemy in the distance. Uh, Cao Ang is uh, getting chased off the field here by Huang Shao. As we emerge victorious against this Protectors of Heaven Glaive unit here, this last remainder of the former army before more reinforcements hit the field here. You can see in the distance, Langsai Swordsmen, Yang Zhao Jai Infantry, and some Lankai Archers, uh, and a beat-up general, Quan Hui, Sentinel in the forest. Also, uh, Zhang Cheng Yi, champion, is wandering around, wondering what to do with himself. I'm going to send some archers after him. But uh, he seems going to be done here after this unit. He's not going to be able to do too much. The enemy warriors are running. He is wavering. This glaive infantry is still there. Still holding back the bulk of this army. Holding back for more of his uh, cronies. A little bit further on, the bowmen. Archer militia. We're going to charge this Yang Tao uh, giant infantry, and the, the balance of power has shifted now. Enemy troop count, 2,500 to 2,415, so it ends up being close. Oh, 
Gonna bring up another general here as well. And of course, we still have the remainder of our army as well, too. It is more strong than what they seem to think. I'll bring them up on the right flank here, crossing past that river. And if we still had those horsemen, that would be damn brilliant. I don't know if they survived. I don't think they did. Yes, they did. They did survive. They are in the fray. And we do have a general. We're going to send him too. Because there's these bowmen that are on the peripherals picking. And they're going to be the difference maker. If we don't do something about it. So we've surrounded this uh, medium halberd. Chasing off those uh, those bowmen, Lank Eye Archers, you can see in the distance my general catching up to the Defenders of Earth medium bow infantry. And I also sent some uh, yellow sky heralds as well to deal with them. And you can see this yellow turban archer you know, chasing off another one right off the right flank. A left flank, I've got some brains of righteous right next by. We're going to attack that archer militia. We're going to send two generals right after him. He's going to get ruffled. Just a small amount of soldiers left, causing a little bit of problems. To make the difference. If we could just dispatch some of these small units and not deal with them. But later on, we might make it through. And we can see the enemy fold uh, with that halberd unit. We're going to shift over to that Lank Eye Swordsman. You can see in the distance more enemy unit, but they're staggered, so my forces combined are able to do quite a, a number and dispatch them quickly enough. This left flank, remainder battle. And there we go. The enemy, by the time it waits for the reinforcements of them to come down this ridge, you can see multiple different kinds of bowmen. That's going to be the difference. We can get our generals right after them quick. Might be the difference. Deal with them down there. Bringers of Righteousness, bring them back. Get that horseman, another general over there, get him after them. By the time they get here, they're going to be, uh... We wish for something else. Oh, the Saber Militia caught here by some spearmen. But then also have some halberds to help. Like I swordsman unit is surrounded. Defenders of Earth here, rushing up. Getting chased by the Sky Heralds. You can see them chopping away that Defenders of Earth unit. Brilliant stuff. Alright, so you can see more units here now finally forming up. This is going to be the last battle. One of. We're going to form up here and see what we have. We're going to charge of this Lank Eye Spearman unit. See my general off in the distance harassing those archers. Still have some of those horsemen left as well, which is a good thing. I'm going to go throw them off to the right flank. 
You can see some enemy units here approaching. Lankai Spearmen, Heavy Yanks out Jai Infantry, and Armored Giant Sword Guard. Three units, and then two over there in the distance as my general gets hit here hard by some arrow fire. Huang Shao trying to cross that field. Caught, getting a little bit hit here with arrow fire. So we send my generals after those three archer units, Yi Archers and Archer Militia. And they're gonna they're gonna send in they're gonna have about six units here, even in reserve when they finally something finally changes. And you can see I'm sending all my units, or at least I thought I was, sending in that other chunk, the other half of the army, the left side. See the clash happen over here on the right flank. Jihan Sword Guard. Uh, and they're much more organized than what we have, but it's fairly even still. You can see another uh, the armored Jihan Sword Guard unit trying to move up, and then we try and attack them, flank them before they can reach that grouping there. Bringers of Righteousness, a medium glaive, and bow infantry. They're going to shift off. We're going to shift around this to try and take this heavy axe band down as peasant spearmen try to uh, block them. And it seems to be all we have here, folks, so it's it's fairly nitty-gritty. 16-14 against 15-78. It's fairly evens. And we've got most of... Uh, Bring bringing the generals back to try and uh, save this fight. Sacred Chance in the mix, maybe being the difference on my side. That really does help, gives that uh, bleed damage buff in the armor. Hopefully, when we're right in the zone, you can see on the right flank that like I spearman heavy yanks out giant infantry, beating out the militia and uh, spearman captain. So we're gonna try and reinforce here by sending in our generals. Feng Shao looking uh, a little bit worse for wares here. We're going to try and go after these He Yi archers. I mean, he Yi archers? Yi archers. My bad. <laughs> Yi archers. Uh, and here, the enemy just really creating a good defensive uh, around this large mob of He Yi forces, trying to contain them and, and lend enough time for these archers to do something, but if I, you know, I send them in general and they're not going to move up and they got that other general over there and didn't move into e uh, position either. And with three generals on my side, even with, even with one of the generals here uh, vanquishing, I think. Was it a, was it a general or was it a, a unit? I think it was a unit that perished. That's making the difference. And the main, the main bout, they're not going to have enough here. You can see, like I Spearman here is about to fold. The balance of power is shifting. 1353 against 1238 uh, for he forces against Kingdom of Wei. Finally uh, getting a victory here. Right in the middle. And Huang Shao chasing those archers. And, of course, the friendly fire on the mix is fairly bad. But he's going to want to... He's going to want to shift off, I think. Set him off into the forest here, because I think we have enough time. I 
We shift off to the right flank, and that light guy Spearman now is going to get attacked from behind. Those archers now firing upon an enemy unit here, not an enemy unit, firing upon a good unit, band of soldiers trying to charge forth here, and they're just getting pelted. Yellow Turban Warriors there, retreating, and that, of course, Lank Eye Spearman unit getting beat up, and it's probably going to be the difference maker. We're going to send our generals after uh, those pesky bowmen in the distance. That's going to be the difference there. You can see the right flank fold for the enemy. Uh, we're going to shift. Really, what's left is the axe band and an enemy general in the mix. Guo <coughs> Jia. You can see him. Overwhelmed here. in the distance are generals doing their dirty work first off picking some light guy spearmen they got a couple of archer militia here just getting into range but really last thing holding back here heavy axe band and he's getting hit by some friendly fire it looks to be those defenders of earth This one defender, is this Defenders of Earth Medium Bow been hanging around for how long now? We're going to try and send over just a couple units. Let them know that that friendly fire is unacceptable. Lankai archers turning around and trying to attack this Faith Preservers unit. It's the, the, the trap is sprung, good sir. So you can see multiple units here moving in. Uh, attacking them from behind. The, that archer unit. And then of course the Yi archers that are heading towards are going to go get a little bit more than they bargained for. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly it as we send, uh, like, this huge force over this small square unit of archers. <laughs> and the clash is brilliant. <laughs> the enemy too staggered here, I think, to do too much uh, to be able to stop. The momentum that was created. See, five hundred, uh, nine hundred forty-two against five hundred forty-seven so far, thus far. And you can see a shift here happening to another archer militia unit that's finally broken free of the, the shackles that somehow bonded it from not being able to rush forward earlier. <laughs> well, that's why. Well, that is correct. You can just see this like unstoppable movement. Well, okay, correct. And the arch militia are uh, retreating. What is that leaving on the field? One archer unit? Defenders of Earth, medium bow infantry would have come down to this last unit. It's the last unit to fold, is it? Seems to be.
and some enemy units turn around here. Look at this. Making one last gambit play. We still have some enemy units uh, back behind, which are not going away. Last archer unit here trying to flee now. be all. Claim victory. Hire victory. War grows bitter and enduring between you and your enemy. If there is no end in sight, then the people will grow weary of the protracted conflict. A swift and decisive end to this matter may be in your best interest as the tide rises and falls. They're unable to break our stride there. 5,850 deployed, 4,930 lost, 920 remaining, 426 captured, 6,468 deployed, 5,756 lost, 712 remaining. Now, the best thing to do. We will release all the generals. <laughs> and then see where we stand again. Because we're still... Close victory, we're going to delegate. Celebration is due. Let the wine flow. Let the captives go. <coughs> Decisive inferior inferior forces decisive defeat. Delegate here, Zhang Fei crossing the river. I have failed. More forces delegate. Holy Kingdom of Wei seeming unstoppable here. Of course, the Kingdom of Song. Not even dealt with. <coughs> of 
course, with our forces amassed at Dong Lai. Bringing it around, going back to Tai Shan. Shoring up by high. And getting another. I think another army, potentially. I think that would be good. But I think here in Nanyang is really where we want it. We have two forces there, one to the south and Runin. So I think raising an army here, Lu Yu. My aim is precise. Ji Yang. Poised to strike. And Leng Zidao. So we shore up Runin. Go to Pencheng, get another one. Or another army here. So Guan Zhenjin. And then we we're stuck there. We can get one more and that's it. <laughs> Jeez. So can we combine forces here, merge? Unified in intention. Moving as one. Towards victory. So we still got a stronghold in Penchang, large regional city. Even with the damage wrought and the amount the amount of people lost to be true. You shoo. In any way. I think Sai Sao would go good. We're gonna take uh, Yang Tao farmland. We're gonna delegate. When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. Be bold for the day cannot for be lost. Uh, so we can see here we're gonna maneuver uh, Lu Yu into strategic position near Yang Tao farmland. You can see the north uh Zhang Yan forces, which is brilliant to see right now. I mean the men of the forest. Dang, yeah, that is brilliant. Uh, and we could go for Yangtzhou Imperial City if we wanted to, but I don't think we want to go there. It's a little bit of out of our reach, I think. Guard the north. We're gonna go for a Badong on the river in the south, west south. And we do have a lot of Gongdu forces here. If it ever does come to this, we can always just Chang and Jade mine, but I'd rather go get like Wudu Copper Mine. Seems to be a better place, to be true. So start maneuvering our forces that way. In the north, one of the armies. I think I'm gonna leave it off here, to be true. As you can see here, uh, the map is glorious. You can see. Is it faction diplomacy? So, really trying to secure the south and north uh, as well as shore up a mainland, Runin. And of course, Nanyang, north. Uh, and then I'm, I'm able to do these sort of nifty moves over by over here if he doesn't have too many forces over to the west. Specifically in regards to Ba, small regional city. Thanks for joining!